Hey everyone, welcome to Pipes, Tobacco, and Whiskey. So today we got our friend Ryan Cottle with us, and we are trying a new product from Sutliff that will come out tomorrow, Tuesday the 13th, and it is called States of Virginia. And what this is, is it's going to be pressed Virginia flakes, one bar of stoved, one bar of yellow, and one bar of red. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the description that Sutliff has provided for us on this blend. It says, States of Virginia isn't your average blend of pipe tobacco. Actually, it's not a blend at all, at least not yet. Tangy reds, citrusy brights, and stoved sweet Virginias are discreetly pressed and packaged side by side. Sift through the nuances of the flu cured leaf and find a balance that speaks to you. Our ingredients, your recipe. So the whole premise of this is for you to be able to experiment with these three different types of pressed uh, Virginias and come up with a blend of your own that you like. Now, this is a limited series. I spoke with Jeremy McKenna, who's the president of Sutliff, and he says he thought that there was only about 5,000 tins of this produced. So, uh, when it does come out, and it'll be on Tobacco Pipes and Cup of Joe's probably very quickly since Sutliff owns those two websites, but uh, uh, you're gonna wanna jump on this if this is something you're interested to, uh, to try. Uh, okay, so it it's a it's one and a half ounces for the whole tin. So what does that break down to? That's fifty. Is that five? That's a half an ounce. Yeah, it's half an ounce each. Half an ounce each. So anyway, uh, this is kind of a unique and interesting idea for someone to put out. I don't think I've ever seen someone do that in a tin uh, where you can mm -hmm. mix and match and do things. Um, of your own right in like, this you can get all of these in bulk just not pressed from them that's right? right that's the big difference between what they sell individually and how they're selling it here is that this, these are pressed and aged mm -hmm. um, rather than just buying it in bulk loose leaf form you know uh, most of these are in ribbon form in bulk uh, I'm not sure how if this is going to be crumble cake or whatever but we're gonna find out when we open it up let's see all right well let's give it a shot this is our first opening of this and this will give us a little bit of uh, idea of what to expect when you when you open it up so uh, it's in a, a typical Sutliff tin and it's got that you, you know the guys at uh, Country Squire call this the Victorian uh, wrapper because it kind of looks it's like a Victorian <laughs> collar, you know. But uh, anyway, that's it's got that on top of it, and then on top of that, you've got your uh, typical cover. Oh, and they are not individually wrapped. They're not. They're not individually wrapped. See, so you can see uh, as it comes out to you. Let me make sure that you get a good view of this. That. From uh, from left to right on this, you've you've got your red, then you've got your brights, and then you've got your stoved over there, and they're not individually wrapped, uh, but they are in a in a kind of a crumble cake form. The thing I like about this already is that you're uh, that you are a uh, it's all in one piece. It's not mm -hmm. busted up and everything like that. So you're it's you're really getting some good flake right there, or yeah. some crumble cake. It'll certainly help with trying to get your uh, percentages down, too. Yeah. I mean, with them all being the same size and uniform shape. So what should we expect from each blend? Well, if, if you smoke much uh, Virginia, many Virginia blends, you know that the stoved is going to be uh, basically a bright Virginia that they heat up, they stove it, they heat it up, and then... Uh, that helps kind of bring out the natural sugars in the leaf breaks uh, kind of caramelizes it just a little bit I think when you stove something it does kind of slow down that aging process though because you're uh, already taking the sugars and manipulating those sugars 
So I'm not sure how stoved actually ages. I'm sure there it ages at some point, you know, so a little bit, but I'm not actually sure how much. Now, on the stoved, you're going to get some mild fermentation, uh, some tanginess. You're going to get a, a rich, deep uh, flavor with some dark fruit in it. Um, you're going to get some citrus a little bit. You're going to get a lot of earthiness on that. Uh, some wood, some bread, a little bit of sugar uh, taste. Light lemon. You should experience a little bit of light lemon. Um, the strength on this one is a, is a moderate strength uh, maybe even mild and I would lean more mild yeah and the uh, the flavor on this the taste on this should be about a medium really yeah. uh, and <clears throat> this is this tobacco when sup you know you could smoke this individually but this is intended the way Sutliff describes it to be a blending component is what this is this yeah. uh, so anyway uh, it it's meant to add some depth and dimension to whatever tobacco you are yeah. smoking. I'm sure there's people that smoke stoved by itself, but... Well, I think you're one of them, aren't you? No, no. Oh, uh, you don't? Mm -mm. Not I, by itself. No, I, I, what I do uh, with stoved is I like to blend it with reds, mm -hmm. uh, the the reds from Sutliff, and, and make a blend out of that. That's how. That's the base of my... Dearly's blend yes yeah. that that I use and so I'm kind of familiar with this except I have never had it in a pressed form like this so we'll see all right what can we expect out of the yellows well the yellows are going to be a much brighter zestier tangier uh, maybe tangy is not a good word uh, maybe spicy okay. might yeah. be a good word for it um, you're going to get a lot of tart and tanginess out of this one it's a lot of citrus that grassy hay uh, taste that you're going to get out of this one uh, sour kind of a lemon uh, citrus background on this uh, some sugar you're going to get out of this but you're also going to get a lot of that vegetal kind of flavors too uh, even floral mm -hmm. out of this some light earth you're going to get uh, some wood some acidity out of this and uh, the, the tastes and the strength on these are are moderate i would say they're not, uh but you know i don't bright virginias i don't get along with very well because they heat up for me i'm the same way they get really really hot and it starts to zip my tongue a little bit and yeah. i think that's where the spicy where i get the spiciness right. is maybe not from the tobacco so much as from the heat of the air yeah it just feels a little bitey because of that yeah. yeah and so that's why when i we talk about our blends how we're going to break them apart. Uh, I'll, I'll explain what, why that yellow is in there and what it's supposed to do. Now the reds, which is in Sutliff is my favorite. I love Sutliff Red Virginias. Um, you're going to get a lot of earth, a lot of wood, uh, tangy ripe dark fruit. You're going to get some uh, sugar taste to it, uh, a kind of a light tartness and uh, sourness. The breadiness, there's some vinegar kind of in, in theirs. Uh, there's a hint of a floral aspect to it. Uh, tart citrus. Uh, the strength on this one is moderate and the, the taste is medium. And to me, out of all the blenders in the world, this one to me tastes the closest to McClellan 5100. Okay. It's not McClellan 5100, nah, but it's but the it's close. closest, yes. okay? All right, with those descriptions, um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do yeah. uh, in my first blending. What we're going to do is we're going to tell you our recipe, and we're going to blend them together, and then we're going to smoke them to kind of give you our thoughts about that and, and maybe what we would do on the next time to tweak it a little bit more, yeah. okay? All right, so what I'm going to do is, I what I like about Virginia's first and foremost is the sweetness. Yes, that's absolutely. The, that's the big thing for me. So the base of my blend is going to be uh, that stoved with the sweetness of the stoved. And then the second thing I like about Virginia's are the dark fruit flavors and a little bit of that tanginess. So the second is going to be uh, the reds. 
because the bright Virginias have a tendency to bite me a little bit, I'm going to back away from those and I'm going to put those as my third element. So I'll do 50, did I, yeah, 50 percent um, stoved, 30 percent red, and 20 percent yellow. That's what, how I'm going to do it. What about you? Uh, I follow just about the same logic. I'm a little heavier on the ripe fruit side than I am that sugary flavor. So I'm going to do a 40 red, 40 stoved, and then 20. Uh, so you're going the, even the with the reds and the and the stoved. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Well, I bet we'll, we can make enough uh, for each of us to try each other's blends as well. Probably so. So, so let's, let's give it a shot. Now, what I've got is a... You know, just a little mini scale that I don't even remember where I bought this. I think I got it off at of Amazon or something like that. But I'm going to, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in grams. And I'm just going to go, like, if I do 50, 30, 20, I'm going to do 5 grams, 3 grams, and 2 grams. And that way we'll have enough to share with each other. You probably do 4, 4, and 2. And two. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll get back to you here in a second. And we will start smoking our new blends. Here we go. Okay, so we're coming back to you now, and um, as we are mixing our blend together, we're noticing, first of all, it was a really true crumble cake. Yeah. Uh, typical of Sutless crumble cakes, not, uh, not a whole lot of difference, very easy to rub out. Um, the only problem that we experienced with uh, taking the pieces from the crumble cake, trying to make our own blend, is that the blocks would have a tendency to kind of crumble apart a little bit. So when you put it back into the tin, you've got some residue there that's kind of mixing it together anyway. So uh, I think one th one thing I probably would have done is individually wrapped each one of these yeah. so that it had its own little um, envelope or whatever to keep that component separate from all of the other components yes it certainly would help yeah uh that was the only thing that i could uh tell the moisture level on this is is perfect really i think i mean it's ready to smoke um and like i said it was easy to rub out we noticed that there's quite a bit of chunky especially in the stoved yeah. part of it uh chunky pieces uh to me almost like a coarse cut uh, but then you've got some other smaller ribbon cuts. and So, so it's kind of a mixture yeah. of cuts. And I'm interested in see how that burns as, as we smoke it. Uh, like I said, mine was 50% stoved, 30% uh, red, and 20% yellow. And this is kind of the color that I've come up with on, on my batch. If you can see, it's really, really nice looking. Uh, not very many brights in there. Mostly, mostly that stove. And then Ryan's, which is the forty percent stove, forty percent um, red, red, and twenty percent yep. uh, yellow. This is kind of what his looks like right there. So, a little darker than mine. Not quite a lot though. It was pretty close. All right, we're gonna stuff it and smoke it and give you our thoughts. Here we go. Now, I would suggest that you first smoke each component by itself just to make sure you have an idea of what to expect in, uh, as far as the flavor profile goes with each one. Ryan and I have smoked these, these uh, components lots of times. Far, um, far too many? As a matter of fact, the, the, the Sutliff uh, 515 Red is the base is is one of these components and I smoke that straight all the time. Uh, 507 is the stoved. 507S is the stoved Virginia, which I smoke a lot of as well. The only one in this that I didn't smoke by itself was the yellow Virginia, which there's nothing on Sutliff's bulk um, offerings that just says it's a yellow Virginia. Is there sweet Virginia, not just a yellow? Or a bright Virginia? I, it has some sort of a topping on it. Does it? Yeah. So I'm going to let you talk about yours first. Okay. And I know you said uh, 
that's that's about the right moisture for you. It's a little it's a little wet for me. Yeah. I think maybe it was just the stove that was a little too wet for me, but it's it's a little wet on for my taste personally. I guess I expect that kind of moisture from Sutless crumble cakes because I smoke so many of their crumble cakes that I'm used to that moisture level. That's pretty typical for their moisture level, I think. Yeah. That is true. Well, so far, uh, it's decent. I'm not mad at the... Uh, at the blend yet? At the blend yet, yeah. I'm, I'm getting a lot of smoky, earthy, um, woody kind of tones um yeah i i, I expected the stove to give me a more a little more sweetness but it's it's tasty mm-hmm. it's really tasty i just like a little more sweetness to it which would lead me maybe next time to drop drop the stoved quantity and add more bright the yellow because I'm not getting any of the citrusy, grassiness Me either. Uh, at all. So that, that, that moderate amount that I use, that 20% of the yellow, probably could be bumped up a little bit. I'm with you. I'm, I'm getting a lot of wood. Yeah. A lot. Not quite getting into any, any dark fruits or anything yet. It's almost just wood with, I mean, a hint, a hint of sweetness. Yeah, to me, what I just made is very earthy. Mm -hmm. Very earthy. No grassiness at all. Are you getting any grassy hay? I I just did. Barely. Barely on the exhale, right at the end. Um, But I I just, I don't know. What I like about this, this that I have put together is... It's very, you know, I'm an English guy, and it's very um, reminiscent of some English blends with that smoky, woody, earthy base, you know, like an English would have without having all that Latakia in there, you know? And I can see that. I'm not the biggest fan of Latakia, and I, these are the flavors that I would enjoy out of it. I just don't like the oiliness of Latakia. I have to say, though, it is smooth. There's no harshness, no bite, Mm-mm. no heat. Yeah. I mean, it's just very um, easy to smoke. Very calm and mm-hmm. and uh, controllable. Right. And even though I love Sutlos Reds, if you puff it on them like crazy, it'll still bite you. Um, at least to me. And I'm not getting that. And I'm I'm really trying hard to keep this lit. You know, I might even go keep the stoved at 50%, drop the red to 25, and bump up the yellow to 25 and see how that does. I wonder what it would be like in one-third, one-third, one-third. That's a good question. It's a very good question. We'll have to try that. Yeah. But see, that's the great thing about this blend is that you get to mix whatever you want. And if you wanted to try that as well, there's enough tobacco in there to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, as is, we were talking about it and how much we were putting together. Um, there's going to be probably enough, some left over from e- us each trying these blends once. So there's plenty, and there was plenty left in that tin. Yeah, yeah. Considering you're going to use, what, three grams or so? Roughly. In a bowl? Yeah. Uh, we just mixed 10 grams each of what we had. And in that one, it's just a little bit less than 50 grams of tobacco in that tin. So you've got several opportunities to make different blends. If you can find what that yellow Virginia is in a bulk blend, then you can go and order each component by itself and continue to mix your blend together if you find something that you really, really like. 
And Ryan and I talked about, well, what about the pressing? Well, if you've got a noodle press, you know, like I bought, mm -hmm. and you press your own tobaccos together, you can press it together. I'm sure Sutliff doesn't press it for more than two weeks. That I'm not sure of. Well, you, you, you can't press it. On that. Well, you can't press it forever because it, there's also a, you know, hey, we got to get the product out, you know, we and, and keep it moist right. at the same time. I've seen their presses, and their presses are basically open air presses. Um, so you can't leave it in there forever and expect it to to contain moisture yeah. forever. So uh, I think two weeks is about the maximum that 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 they press their uh, tobaccos for y you could press your own and and you know try it like that actually yeah. you could mix them together then press it yeah that i mean would, i would i would recommend that a little that more that would be cuz then they start to marry those those uh, flavors now it, it would change your your blend a little bit just a little yeah it would it would certainly just change it just because they would interact a little more with each other yeah but i'm not really getting anything that's fighting against it right there's nothing that says oh i'm only getting stove or i'm only getting red and it's just taking everything else out as i get in i'm starting to get a little bit me more. too the stove you know i i'm the reds are starting to speak a little bit in this mm -hmm. um it's it's really interesting how it's evolved and i'm starting to get a little more of those those bright virginias i'm getting some of that grass but well, more so the hay flavor um, but those bright Virginias will leave my mouth feeling a little weird. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. Maybe I'm just weird. I'm okay with that. But it's, that's what it feels like to me. It's got almost a dryness to it. Yeah. Maybe that's the heat from it? Maybe. I don't know. But we put such a small percentage in there that it wouldn't affect the blend a whole lot, I don't think. Right. Correct. Just enough to make it interesting. Right, just enough to make it interesting and just enough to notice it. And that's what I wanted. That's why I put such a small amount in. I didn't want just two things. All right, so next time I'm going to go I'm going to go 45% stoved and keep the reds at 30 and then 25% uh, bright. That's that's what I'm going to do next to see if I can sweeten it up just a little bit more. I don't know if I would change mine. You do you like it that way? I like it this way. But we've talked about it before. I'm usually with with my Virginias, I'm pretty one note. I like it just be simple. I don't mm -hmm. want to overcomplicate it. I don't want a uh, contemplative smoke. I want something that I can just toss in a pipe and enjoy. Guys, this comes out tomorrow. Uh, J June 13th at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So uh, get some wallets available and experiment. And we'd like to hear what uh, combinations you come up with that you like. Um, me, I'm a, I'm a guy that likes the sweetness in Virginia's, the tanginess in Virginia's, and uh, that little bit of smokiness, uh, you know, for in in the the darker virginia so that's kind of what i look for but you might be looking for something totally different and we'd like to hear what uh what you come up with so post it underneath uh underneath the video in the descriptions uh comments and let us know man yeah so this is interesting this is really a cool idea it is the one little thing that i would have done differently is individually packaged each block of the component, but I do understand also that that's a little more labor intensive than than uh, just putting it in the tin. So, yeah. you know, uh, but to me it would have been worth it if they had to spend a little extra more money for that. And of course, speaking of money, I don't know what this is going to go for. I would imagine that it's going to be sixteen bucks, something like that. You know, usually around there, like limited stuff. Yeah, maybe we might be surprised and come out less. Some of their blends come out a little bit less than that, but uh, it's worth. I think it's worth at least picking up a tin or two and seeing what you can do with it. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. All right. Well, you got anything else you want to add to this, Ryan? 
we're gonna we're gonna swap after this smoke. We're gonna swap. I'm gonna smoke some of his, and he's gonna smoke some of mine, and see if there's really a difference. And maybe we might come back and report that to you at some time. But uh, yep. I, I'd be interested in seeing if there's a big difference between the two, yep. uh, because you have more reds than I do, correct, and less stoved correct. than I do, which is what you were wanting to do anyways. I just have, I have the same amount of brights as you. You have very similar to my Dearly's blend. Yeah, you have very similar to my Dearly's blend. The only thing I add a little bit more in my Dearly's blend is some uh, Latakia, like. Like a like a twelve percent, lot of Kia. So, all right, guys. Well, Sutliff's state states of Virginia, which will come out here tomorrow. Uh, it is a limited edition. Make sure you pick up a tin. Um, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. It's really good. It really is interesting idea and tasty. Uh, all the different things that we're going to get to do with this. Mm -hmm. I like the tin art on this. It is pretty cool. Yeah, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of a, a patriotic theme. Um, not sure what that has to do with, you know, the states of Virginia is a play on words. The states as in the nature of these Virginias. Right. You know, there's a there's a there's a stove, there's a red, there's a yellow, um, but I don't know if there's maybe a patriot. You know, that's something that Jeremy might be able to tell us. There's a patriotic theme behind this as well. All right, guys. Well, here is another episode. Hope you go out and get some of this. Uh, we really we really enjoyed it. Uh, it was fun yeah, to kind of good. blend it together and see what we come up with. Uh, let us know how what you think. But in the meantime, don't forget. Make all your piping moments count. We'll see you next time. Have a great week. Talk to you later. See you. Bye-bye.